friends, it's Camille and today I am finally doing my skincare routine and this is the best that my skin has ever been in my entire life and that's because I spent a long time curating the right products and the right processes and trying out a whole bunch of different stuff. So today I'm going to show you how to get the most glowy, healthy, radiant and balanced skin. So that is why I am completely barefaced today. I wanted you guys to see my skin in its full glory and see what I am referring to when I tell you that this is the best skin I've ever had. So I'm gonna give you some basic tips on lifestyle advice and food advice before I get into the products. Because if you don't have a healthy lifestyle in these different ways, then there's no product that can really fix your skin. So one of the best changes I made was going 99% vegan. So anyways, if you wanna hear more about the vegan lifestyle, I made a whole video about it and it's linked in the description box down below. So some of the basic things that you should do if you wanna have really good skin include not touching your face. I can't tell you guys how important that is. Don't touch your face. If you need to like scratch, just like use the back of your hand, it's cleaner. Don't pick at stuff with your hands, that always just, first of all, you're touching your skin and then you're spreading bacteria and you can be damaging your skin that will leave scars and hyperpigmentation. So you just wanna, don't touch your face. Another thing to do is use clean pillowcases and I used to go so overboard on this, I would use a pillow for two days, one day on each side and then wash it and get a new pillowcase. Uh, but apparently you don't need to do that. Just make sure that your pillowcase gets changed regularly. So this is everyone's favorite tip, but don't forget to drink your water and stay hydrated. Delicious. But I get it. I understand that you guys hate it because whenever you look for advice on having better skin, everyone's just like, have water. And that's annoying when it's just the only tip that you get. But seriously, it's actually really important. I feel like my skin cells are plumper and happier when I drink water. Like if you chug a whole bottle of water, you're just, your body just brightens up from the inside. Another food related thing is to avoid processed foods because they're terrible for your body in every single way. And to try and get a lot of vegetables. Obviously, it's great for your skin, it's great for your health. And one really important thing that a lot of people overlook is dairy products. Please just cut out dairy products if you're really going for perfect skin, or if you're just trying to be healthier in general. It's like one of the main causes of inflammation and acne and just like gross stuff in your skin that you don't need. And it's not good for your body anyways. So if you can't cut it out, I totally get it. Cheese is delicious but maybe try and cut down on it. Another complete no, something that you should never do, especially if you're tired, is go to bed with your makeup on. It's in your best interest to just grab a makeup wipe, take it off, and then go to bed. I also like to have makeup free days in between makeup days, so I can give my skin a little bit of time to breathe. Another thing I really like is working out. It makes my skin just feel completely refreshed from the inside out. And then exfoliating helps your skin feel refreshed from the outside in or just the outside. No, yeah, just the outside. <laughs> also, just unclogging pores, smoothing your skin, exfoliating is a must. Getting your hormones in check is actually a really helpful thing if you have bad skin, but you've done everything and you just can't fix it for some reason. Some people battle with their skin forever and it seems like no matter what they do or eat, or put on it, it doesn't help, and that could be hormonal issues. So this tip only applies to women, sorry guys. But to balance out your hormones, you can always take birth control that helps people's skin a lot. Another thing is a daily probiotic, which will help your feminine health and creates a balance between good bacteria and yeast that's inside of you, so that also really helps your skin. Last tip before we get into products is keep your hair off your face as much as you can, especially if you wear products, and as you can tell, I have my hair up in one of these little clippy things and I've been wearing it like that for a while. One, because it keeps hair off my skin and two, because my hair is so annoying when it's just always in my eyes and like on my face and you can't even see my face. Do I even have a face? Anyways, let's get on to the products that I use. So the face wash I use is by Derma E and it's the anti-wrinkle scrub with vitamin A and glycolic acid. And this is a very gentle exfoliator. It doesn't have beads in it, it just has like little tiny scrub things. Um, but it's also, it feels moisturizing at the same time, which is kind of weird, but it doesn't foam. So I think that's one reason why it doesn't dry out my skin. And then with that, I use my Clarisonic Mia 2, which I actually just got not too long ago, but before I had a spin brush and I liked it. But now that I use this, I realized that I kind of like this more 
um, when it oscillates than when it spins. Then I tone my face and I use the Pixi Glow Tonic, which is absolutely amazing. The toner that I used before this, like a long time ago, was also a glycolic acid toner, so I think I got a taste of the good life and had to continue. But this is 5%, which makes it an exfoliating toner, but that's because glycolic acid kind of like melts the dead skin cells on the top of your skin chemically. Uh, very gently, it's not gonna burn or sting or anything. And then since it's toner, it balances the pH in your skin, and I use this twice a day after every wash. My absolute favorite part of my skincare routine is the serums. These are just like, I feel like it's just liquid gold. So the first serum that I really fell in love with was this one. I got it on Amazon and it's not even by a brand. It's just by JJ Lab Skin Solutions and they just make it to order. I guess they manufacture the ingredients. It's their anti-aging serum and it has retinol, DMAE, vitamin C ester, CoQ10, collagen, and hyaluronic acid. So that's pretty much a cocktail of every single active ingredient that you would want in a serum. So obviously I bought it. It was the only one that I could find that has all of these. Still today, I can't find anything like it. One time after using it was crazy. The second time was amazing. And after the third time, you're just like peak skin. So afterwards it plateaus and you just maintain that like really juicy skin. But the only thing about this is that the concentration of each of these ingredients isn't as high as I would want it to be ideally. So I ended up replacing this all-in-one with two serums by Avon Naturals. And they have everything that I look for in there, but it's stronger. So I had to do that in two separate serums because they didn't offer it together, which is whatever. But the pink one is the Anti-Wrinkle Skin Firming Serum with 2.5% retinol, vitamin E, and hyaluronic acid. And the blue one is the Ultimate Skin Hydrating Hyaluronic Acid Serum with CoQ10, vitamin B, vitamin C, and chamomile. And I double checked, it is vitamin C ester that does make a big difference. So instead of using this after toning, I use one squirt of each of these. So not only are these higher concentration, but it's a better price per ounce, so literally everything that I would look for in skin serums. So that pretty much just took my skin from that plateaued really happy place, just bumped it up a little bit, and now it's plateaued again to like the juiciest skin I've ever had. And lately, I've been mixing in one drop of the Levito Replenishing Facial Serum. So this is a lot more oily than these, and I think that's why my skin feels like the regular amazing, plus a little bit more moisturized. And this is made from pomegranate seed, lemon myrtle, and mandarin. So one squirt of these and one drop of these together. Perfect combination now. And the last thing is moisturizer because of course you have to moisturize your skin, keep it nice and moist, as well as add some SPF into your routine. I hate doing SPF alone, so I like to have it in my moisturizer so I don't even have to think about it. SPF 15, that's like solid for a regular day. If I was gonna go to the beach and be in the sun forever, I'd probably do higher. But this has been my favorite morning moisturizer for like seven years now, maybe even eight. So if you don't know what Equate is, that's the Walmart brand of their beauty products. But this just happens to go really well with my skin and it makes my skin feel moisturized without feeling like overly moisturized or too dry, which I found in moisturizers. Tonight I use the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream because it's more of like a very thick white cream than it is like a thinner daytime moisturizer. So I just spread that cream all over my face like it's a bagel and then I go to bed. And then when you wake up, your skin is just so nice and moisturized, it's crazy. It's also pretty gentle, so I feel like this would work for most skin types. I have like combination skin, did I mention that? I feel like that's important. Depending on your skin type, different products might work better for you. I'd say that all of this stuff is pretty much universal, but the most important thing is that your skin always looks best when paired with a smile. That was so corny, but like it's seriously true though. Like your skin will be like glowing and radiant if you're smiling and if you catch golden hour outside. Go in the sun and smile and that's the best skin you've ever had. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really hope you found it useful because this is the best combination of products I've ever had for a skincare routine. So if you're looking for recommendations, these are them and I hope you try them out. And if you do, let me know how it works out for you in the comments down below. And if you already have a skincare routine or products that you really like, also leave that in the comment section down below. Speaking of down below, there's also a link to all of my social media in the description box. So follow me on Instagram for some subpar selfies and follow me on Twitter for some jokes that I think are funny. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. I wish you all a happy, healthy life and I will see you chameleons in the next video. Kisses.